So I want to welcome you tonight because if you remember back at Christmas time, I told you a story, right? And what happened in that story? Yes. Boom! That's right. Jesus was born and you all got to play parts because my friends from New York didn't show up, right? Well, I just decided not to call them because you did such a fabulous job. I thought maybe you could help me tell the story tonight of when Jesus died. So we talked about when he was born and tonight we get to talk about when he died and he came back to life. Yes. And so I get to be Luke, the physician. I am a friend of Jesus. I know Jesus. And I got to tell you a story about Jesus in the last couple days of his life. But I need your help, okay? And so I'm going to read, from you, read to you from the Gospel of Luke. And the story starts out with a parade. Does anybody like being part of a parade? Yeah. So Jesus is going to be in this parade. So where's Jesus? Jesus. Oh, come on up here, Jesus. Look at Jesus. Give him a hand. All right. Jesus is going to march into Jerusalem and he's going to become the king. Wow, yeah, yeah. And, and you have to ride in on an animal. So what are you going to ride in on? A horse? No. An elephant? No. A zebra? No, what? A donkey. All right. So this parade is about a donkey. And you have some disciples who are with you. You have 12 apostles. And so who are the apostles out there? Come on up here, apostles. Yeah, Matthew, Mark. Yeah, John. Yep, all come behind Jesus. You can stand behind Jesus. Because you are like, you guys are ready for him to become king. And you're going to become his disciples, right? And he's going to become all powerful. All right. And they're going to have a parade. And everybody's going to cheer. Yay, Jesus! Yay, Jesus! Woohoo! So and he's going to march into Jerusalem. Come on, march into Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. What a parade. Wave your palm branches. All right. Come back around this way, Jesus. March around this way. And when he comes into Jerusalem, guess who he meets? The Roman soldiers. Oh, the Roman soldiers. Come on up here, soldiers. Oh, what do we say to the Roman soldiers? All right. They are here to keep the peace. So you have to tell your people to behave. Turn around and tell your people to behave. 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 Period. Behave. That's right. Period. All right. And Jesus marches in Jerusalem, and guess what he has? He has a big supper. And he has a supper not only for his apostles, but for his mom and for some women. So who's your mom? Married. Married. Oh, where's married? We have a married tonight. All right. And do we have some women? Who are the women who are coming forward? Come on, you guys got to be with Jesus. You got to smile. You got to be with Jesus. Give them a high five. Because Jesus treated women with respect. Woohoo! Jesus, give them a high five. Yeah, it's the women. All right. And so you guys are going to come up here, and soldiers are going to stand over there to make sure everything's in order. And you're going to have a last supper with your disciples. So sit down, and you're going to sit down. Everybody's going to sit down. And they had a last supper. And Jesus broke bread with them, and he told them what's going to happen. And guess what he told them? He told them, tonight I'm going to be arrested. Tell him. Tonight I'm going to be arrested, so remember to keep the bread of me in hand. That's right. He broke bread, and they all took bread, and they ate it. Mm. Look like you're going to eat it. Eat the bread. And a cup, and they drank a cup. All right. They drank some wine. They drank some wine. Yeah, we just say a cup, my friend. Yeah, here it's a cup. All right. And then there was one bad thing. One of the disciples decided to betray him. Ooh, who's the betrayer? You're a donkey, my friend. <laughs> You're a donkey. You don't even get to talk. Who is the disciple who's going to turn around and sell Jesus for 30 pieces of silver? Who would rather have money than hang out with Jesus? 
Matthew? All oh, right, Matthew! Matthew's Judas Iscariot. So during the, the dinner, guess what happens? Matthew, or his name is Judas Iscariot, sneaks off to sell Jesus, betray, betray Jesus for some money. So come on over here, Mr. Iscariot. What do we say to Mr. Iscariot? Boo! Oh, all right. And he's going to come over and he's going to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. You turn him in to the Jews and the Romans and kill him, we'll pay you. So here's the money. Boo! Now you're just going to wait here. And after supper, guess what the disciples did? They went out on the Mount of Olives with Jesus to pray. And so Jesus, you tell all your disciples to pray, including your donkey. Yep. And Jesus, you're praying. And while you're praying, guess what the Bible says? It says they went out on the Mount of Olives, and as Jesus was praying, all the disciples fell asleep instead of praying. All the disciples fall asleep other than Jesus. And Jesus comes back and says to them, Wake up! Wake up! You should be praying with me! And so Jesus goes off again, and they all are praying, and guess what happens to all the disciples? They fall asleep again! Why? Don't get up! Get up, my friends, get up! And then a third time, guess what happens? They fall asleep again! What are you going to do? And as they are sleeping, Judas Iscariot shows up with the Roman soldiers to arrest Jesus. Oh, so Judas Iscariot, come over and tell the Roman soldiers which one of these disciples is Jesus. Oh, and they arrest. You don't want to be arrested? Oh, no, they arrest Jesus, and all the disciples wake up and run away. So all the disciples, you run over here. And hide over here, because you're afraid of the Roman soldiers. Yeah, bring your donkey. Bring your donkey. Bring your donkey. Bring your donkey. All right. And they arrest Jesus, and they tie him up. No smile. No smile, Jesus. And they take him to the emperor. Do we have an emperor tonight? Oh, come on up, emperor. And what do we say to the emperor? Boo. Oh, sorry. The Roman soldiers do not like us booing the, the emperor. All right. And so they, the soldiers bring Jesus to the emperor. Here, bring him over here. And the emperor asks him what's wrong. What's wrong with him? And the Jews say, he claims to be the king of the Jews. When we know you're the great emperor. And so, the Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And he said, as you say. Yep. And so, what do you have him do? What would you do to him to see if he was really committed to being king of the Jews? All right. They actually send him off to be beaten. Oh, no. So, the Roman soldiers take Jesus away. Not with a big smile on your face, my friend. They're going to beat you up. <laughs> so the soldiers take him away, and Judas Iscariot, you can come over here and sit because you're going to hide from everybody for a while. And they take Jesus, and they beat him. And they whip him. Come on over here and pretend like you're going to beat him up and whip him. <laughs> you shouldn't be enjoying this. This should be really sad. And they take a whip, and they... Jesus, that's sad. That's sad. And, they, and he falls to the ground, and he cries. Oh. And he's all bloody. And lo and behold, what do they do? They drag him back to the emperor. All beaten up, sad. And the emperor then asks the people, what should I do with him? Ask the people out there. What do I do? And all the people yelled, Crucify him! What? Crucify him! What did they say? Crucify him! Crucify him. Do you know what crucifying means? Uh, 
Yes, we're going to put you on a big board and stretch you out and put nails through your hands and your feet and stab you in the side with a spear and have you die. And so guess what the Roman soldiers did? They crucified him. They put a crown of thorns on him, so give him a crown of thorns rather than a crown of glory. You can pretend to have one. Beat it into his head. And then they march him off to be crucified. All right, so lay down right there and we're going to crucify you. And they spread out his arms and they put nails in each hand. So drive your nails into each hand with your hammers. And put them into his feet. Oh, and stand him up so everybody can see that he's crucified. Oh, no. You're happy? The soldiers are. They even come to his feet and they gamble for his clothes. Ew. And Jesus cries from the cross, Lord, forgive them. Jesus? They don't know what they're doing. All right. And then he said he's thirsty, so one of the soldiers tries to give him some spoiled wine vinegar to drink. Oh, he doesn't want that, no. And all of a sudden, his mother comes over to see him dying, and the women come over to see him dying, and they're crying. This is a sad moment. They're crying. The guys don't come because the guys are afraid. The boys hide, but the girls come. Yeah. And the donkey gets to come and see him, I guess. That, I haven't seen that part of the story. And what does Jesus do? Jesus dies. Oh. And all the disciples cry. All right. And they take his body down off the cross. And what do they do with it? They put it in the tomb. And we have a tomb right there for you. That's right. They put him in a tomb and they rolled a stone in front of it. And the soldiers made sure that the, the women could not come and take the body away. And so all the women and Mary and everybody have to go back with the disciples. And they stayed all night and cried. And the next day they cried. And on the third day, the women decide to come out with spices to anoint Jesus' body. So you guys get to just stand guard. And you guys, the women, get to come. And they're going to anoint the body. But when they get there, freeze, all of a sudden they see an angel of the Lord. Do we have an angel? Yay! An angel of the Lord rolls the stone away. They roll the stone away, and you get to turn and tell the women, he is not here, he is alive. Yay! And the women run back to tell the men. Tell them. Yeah, Jesus is alive, Jesus. And what do the men say? No, we don't believe women. So what do the men do? They go and inspect it too. But when the angel appears, the soldiers are so afraid, they fall down and become stiff as if they are dead. And lo and behold, Jesus isn't in there. But what happened to Jesus? Jesus came back to life. Can you come back to life, Jesus? You're dead, and now you're alive. Ta-da! Yay! And then all the disciples come over, and they rejoice. Woo! And they go and tell everybody Jesus is alive. Go tell everybody Jesus is alive. Good job, Jesus. Woo-hoo! Jesus, you better go give high fives to your people. All right. And that is the story of Easter. 
how we killed Jesus, but he came back to life. And the good news is this. All of us who trust in Jesus as our forever friend, what will he do? He will give us life. All right, Pontius Pilate, I know that you're in control of things, but calm down. All right. So let's give a hand for our Jesus. Come on up here. Let's give a hand to all of our disciples. Yay! All right. Let's give a hand to our donkey. Let's give a hand to Mary, the mother of Jesus. Let's give a hand to the women. Let's give a hand to the Roman soldiers. Yeah. Let's give a hand to Pontius Pilate, who... Boo! Yay! All right, and let's give a hand to the angel. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. The donkey has a question. Yeah. Now that Jesus has come back from the dead, he lives forever, Right? And we can live forever if we will ask Jesus to come into our hearts. And you know how to do that? How to ask Jesus to come into your heart? How do you do that? You pray. Pray Praying is simply asking. All you have to do is ask, Jesus, will you come into my heart and live in my heart and be my forever friend? Can you say that? Jesus, can you come into my heart, live in my heart, and be my forever friend? That's all you have to do to become a disciple of Jesus. All right? Any questions? Mr. Donkey. All right, go back to your teacher so that you can take off your costume. And we are going to watch a video about Vacation Bible School, correct?